Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Inner Money Stocks. Today is Monday, April 21st, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll see the futures are trading higher by about a half a point at the moment. So, again, not a big move uh, by any means. Futures were a little bit higher. They were trading higher by about three points a little while ago. Now just up about uh, half, a, half a point to around... 185850 1858.75 right in that vicinity we'll see how this market plays out today we do expect a light volume session um, it's hard to say if this market will really dip today uh, just for the fact that the volume should be a little bit on the light side generally after a holiday we get what we call a holiday hangover we look for a, a flat to slightly positive trading day for the most part but you really never know how the how the market's going to trade out Last week was an options expiration um, for the month of April. So sometimes when the market's beaten down into that news, uh, you will see a bounce. And I think that's <clears throat> pretty much primarily what happened last week with um, the rally in the stock market. I'm not so sure we're going to get that uh, same type of move this week. So I think traders need to be a little bit more on guard this week. And um, with all the earnings that are being released, a lot of different uh, movements can take place. You could see some whipsaw, and you'll get some stocks that are going up, others that are going down, and, and that's pretty much what we're looking at. All right, let's take a look at some stocks in the news today. We're going to talk start off with uh, Kimberly Clark, KMB is a ticker symbol. Looks like they report in earnings. Right now, I'm showing an indication that the stock is trading at 113.25. So, again, it has upside to around 114 on the daily chart. I don't think we're going to see much more upside than that on in the equity. So, Again, um, give it the upside bias to around $114, Kimberly Clark. I really don't think we're going to see much more uh, upside than that, but um, nonetheless, that's that could be a potential little resistance level as we go. Again, hard to see much much more strength past the 114 level, at least on a daily chart basis. Let's take a look at Halliburton today. It looks like they reported earnings as well. Um, the stock is right now trading at $61.40. It closed at sixty dollars and ninety cents. Believe it or not, it, it is the stock is in an uptrend. It can still have a little bit more upside. How far can it go is the big question. Right now, I think there's a big, big sticking point around sixty-five fifty, possibly sixty-seven dollars. I don't expect either level to get hit today, but nonetheless, we have to give the stock the upside bias because of the strong uptrend that it's been in recently. Plus, I believe it is a new all-time high, but um, around sixty-five bucks. Really, really be cautious with the stock. This stock is going to run out of steam very, very soon. Let's take a look at Hasbro. Um, this is a toy maker. Uh, you can see the stock right now indicating a move to $57. There's no volume behind it, so I really don't know if this is a true indication. Um, so we've got to be a little bit careful with this. One thing I would say about the stock, though, has a lot of support at $52.50. So either way, um, the downside should be limited. The stock has decent upside momentum from here. I don't know if this 57 is true. So, uh, again, be a little bit on the guarded side. The volume trends are just horrendous this morning. One stock that I am looking at this morning in the gold sector, though, in the gold mining sector, is Newmont Mining. The stock has been reported to potentially be in a merger deal or, an, or a takeover deal. Newmont is a very big company, so surprising that um, it's a little bit surprising to me that the stock is trading higher closed at twenty three dollars and fifty four cents today it's trading at twenty five dollars and twenty seven cents but it looks like they are entering or talks of it or rumors of it that they're gonna enter some kind of a merger deal I don't know how true it is again watch the news it looks like they're gonna enter a deal potentially with Barrick um, ticker symbol ABX and we'll pull that one up next but um, I'm not sure if this is true or not but that is the talk out there today. You'll see Barrick um, had a little pop earlier, now trading around $17.65. It's actually lower than where it closed on Friday. Now, Newmont is, is rallying on the news, so we'll see if this is uh, going to hold up. Be a little bit careful. Let me give you the levels I have for Newmont. If the stock sells off today, <clears throat> it has a lot of support at $22.70. That's if it sells off. Okay, so much, much lower, but 2270, ton of support for Newmont today. If the stock rallies on the news, it should stall out around 2650. So again, um, right now the stock is doing great. 
It's up at 2540. I don't know if it's going to hold up. The gold market is a little bit on the weaker side today. The dollar yen market is strong, so gold could be under a little bit of pressure. But this is a merger talk takeover or 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 some type of uh, joint merger. I'm not really sure how it goes, but watch the charts. They'll tell us everything we need to know. <clears throat> but that is the news on Newmont Mining today. Let's take a look at um, AMD today. That's in the news as well. Looks like they reported earnings. Stock closed at three dollars and sixty-nine cents. Currently trading at four dollars and three pennies. Again, decent little pop for um, AMD before the opening bell. I'd still be a little bit careful here. Um, if it does trade higher, it has a ton of resistance at four dollars and forty cents. I don't see the stock getting there, but you never know. If it gets to four forty, that's a level of which I think is going to be a big, big resistance point intraday. So be a little bit aware of that. If the stock sells off. Your buy level will be three dollars and seventeen cents. So, again, that's where we are. Um, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, we need to see a little bit more volume, a little bit more action. Um, once we see that, then we can make some better decisions. Another stock in the news today is SunTrust. Um, this is one of the big regional banks. Uh, believe it or not, the stock closed at thirty-seven dollars and ninety-five cents. And where's the trading? Thirty-seven dollars and ninety-five cents. So, no movement yet. Um, I don't think the stock has a lot of downside from here, at least not yet. So um, <clears throat> I would actually be looking for this stock to trade higher. Where could it go? I'm not 100% sure, but its daily chart resistance level be, will be $41.50 if it trades up there. I don't know if it will. Again, you're not seeing really much activity ahead of the opening bell here, so we have to respect that at least at the moment. So next we're going to move over to... Um, AZN, which is AstraZeneca. Now, this stock is in the news today. It looks like some news came out that Pfizer was making a bid to take it over. I don't know how true it is, but watch for good resistance around the $68, $69 level. Um, if it's a takeover, it can go higher. Be very careful. Um, there's really nothing out here saying that this is going to be a takeover. It just looks like um, there's some rumors out here saying that um, I believe Pfizer is in the talks with... Uh, AstraZeneca to take take it over for a hundred billion dollars. I, I don't know if it's true. We're getting a lot of rumors out here today, so you want to be a little bit careful. But nonetheless, the stock is up on the news. Has a lot of a lot of resistance around sixty eight bucks. So be aware of that. Um, either way, it did trade a little bit higher than that in the pre market around seven twenty seven thirty this morning. We'll see where it trades out, but um, that is the news so far today. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading down about six points right now. Let's go to the GLD, which is a good proxy for trading uh, gold futures. You'll see this is trading at 124.08. It closed at 124.75. I don't see a lot of strength here in the gold market, at least initially. Um, if the dollar yen began to sell off a little bit, and I'm going to show you that chart right here. Dollar yen is starting to come back in. So if this sells off a little bit more, we'll see some more strength in the gold market, in my opinion. You can see how gold, once the dollar yen started to sell off, gold started to move back up. And these two charts generally will trade inverse to each other, so you want to be a little bit aware of that. Let's go over to the oil market. Oil this morning, uh, at least light sweet crude, is trading uh, flat, or down five cents, I should say, to 103.35. Can't make too much out of it. Let's go over to the USO. And what you're going to see here is the USO is trading around 37.50 at the moment. Looks like it closed at 37.66, so it's down ticking a little bit. I can't really make much out of it. Oil continues to hold up very, very well. Gasoline prices continue to rise. Oil is trading over $103 a barrel. Uh, with the problems in the Ukraine and Russia, I would be very, very careful trying to get in front of an oil short at this stage of the game. Oil is holding up very, very well if you ask me. So remember, um, all in all today, we should have a little bit of a lighter volume trading session. A lot of people are still on holiday. I believe the European markets are closed. The Asian markets were open last night. The U.S. markets are open for trading today, but it, definitely, it will definitely be a much lighter session. So be a little bit aware of that. Again, we'll look for a flat, slightly positive trading day by the closing bell, and um, we'll see what the charts give us. Um, we will have one or two gap plays this morning. They'll be posted up in the chat room at 9 a.m. With that said, everybody, have a great trading day. We'll see you on the charts.